Hello and welcome back to some more Dark House Wargaming. We've got a thousand point Age of Sigmar match player game going on. It's the Gloomspite Gits versus the Oruk Warclans, specifically Trogs versus Big War. So for the Trogs, we've got the dank old Trog boss. He's, you know, you got to take him. So he's flickering already. Two units of three rock guts. That'll fill out the battle line requirements. And plus three are in a vanguard detachment. And then we've got a gate crasher, or whatever it's called. Two ale guzzlers. Yeah, that's right. Two. And then a loom boss, because we had the points left over. We had 130 left, and uh, I've got nothing else to fill with that. And we are taking on the Oruk War Clans. So we'll be back with their introduction. And here we've got the Oruk War Clans. Uh, in total, there is a warlord detachment, so it will be gaining an extra CP and a relic. We've got a Iron Jaws War Boss. He is awesome for his points. A War Chanter, again, comes well in handy. Five Brutes, ten Hard Boys. He's standing in for the War Dock until I get him back from the Painter. And then 20 Savage Oryx. He's used both reinforcement points. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good list for a thousand. It should, uh, should do well. Correction, these two will be in the... Uh, Iron Jaws Corps. Yeah, it's uh, specific in the book. They've got their own battalions. Okay. So these will have an Unleash Hell all, all, all out attack. So they can cast for free. Shoot, so yeah, we'll be back when we're deployed and we've got the objectives down and what scenario we're playing. And we'll be playing Marking Territories. That's the one we've rolled up. So it's favouring Taylor, I think, because he's got one more choice. But yeah, we've got to get a lot of damage done. We will be back after deployment. So here we are all deployed. So for my command trait, I've got the reroll damage on my big club for this guy. Can come in handy. And of course the shiny gubbins for the artifact. I'd be a bit stupid not to take that. That's only one he can take. But on Taylor's side, the standing war dock will be the general. And what did you, you made him, uh, he has access to another spell for got, his trait. It, it gives him two spells. I just, I took him as my general because in this game, we would be big war. I need them D6 points. Yeah, and so he's, he's not likely to run up and die, is he? He's, he's going to stay back. back. These guys are probably going to get in and die. And um, once he's gone, I can't get as many. And, it, and his relic, of course. Uh, plus three damage. Plus three damage. Once per battle. That's brilliant, that. And then for my War Chanter's extra beat, I give him, uh, it gives him three D6 charge instead of two D. They can charge me in 18 instead of yeah, 12. That's for, for Iron Jaws. It's Iron Jaws only, yeah. Yeah, nice little list. I like that. So Taylor did finish deploying first, so he can he has the choice. I'm taking first turn. I yeah, need to build mainly got to end what and these guys move pretty slow. The Iron Jaws. Yeah. That's one of the only drawbacks. So you'll get D6 for your general being no, on the battlefield. It's technically a heroic action first. Yeah, will you be generating another? Yeah, as long as I don't roll a one, I get an, a war point. It's instead of doing heroic action, you can roll a dice, and as long as it's greater than the current battle round. You get war points equal to the current battle round. So at minute I'll only get one war point as long as I roll over a one. If I rolled in turn three, I'd have to roll a four plus. And if I got a four plus, I'd get three war points. But really? I'm just going for that extra one at minute. I don't think I need the extra command point. See, we move slow as well. Yeah. So there's not going to be many charges going off in the first round, I don't think. I don't know. I think, I, Andy, I think your turn is going to be, because I get to move forward a bit. I, I am going to try and charge. So what I will do, it might be a sacrifice, but I am going to cash in my Warlord one. Oh, your Warlord CP cashed in. To get an extra one for this turn. So as long as it's not a one. Don't be a one. Cool. Yeah, good, good. So that's a war point. Yeah, we'll get a dice to mark those. And he will get two for having a War Chanter on the battlefield and, and one, one for four. having a wizard. So that so, puts me on to four. And D6, if he gets six here, he's really on track to doing well. Six is what I want because it's plus one to charge rolls now. Well, if I get to eight, it's plus one to runs, but I don't really think I'm going to run. Yes. Yeah, I want ten. A small battlefield like that, running is not so bad. I want ten, I want plus one to charges. Would be handy. And they, accumu they accumulate. Yeah, they keep going and they keep yeah. going. But once so you you'd have plus one to charge, plus one to run. Yeah, yeah. and then Got I can you. get plus one to casting, plus one to hit, plus one to wounds, and then you can do the command ability, which gives you plus one attack, but then you lose all your war points and all your abilities. Plus yeah. one attack across the board, yeah. the whole yeah. army. Yeah, there's no range on any of them when it's the plus from the war. Ah, oh, just two. So I'm on six. I ain't got any. I needed a four at least. 
still, but it's only the start of the phase. It's, you get points for charges as well, don't they, Orcs? Uh, for, ev- for every unit that finishes a charge move, I get a point. And then at the end of combat phase, for any unit within three inch of an enemy unit, I get a one point for. Nice one. So, your... Oh, I didn't heroic act. We will, uh, try... We don't really... Yeah, see peace. Oh, we got one. I rarely get them, that's why I weren't excited then. So now I'm going to do his spell, which I'm going to do... One I've got is not in range, it's on enemy Ugolastic combat phase. The other one, I had one to... I had one to run rolls. I think it's one to charge rolls. And add, they also had one to hit rolls, but they cannot shoot. Yeah. So, for anybody but the shooty boys. It's for bone splitters. Yep. It's going on these guys. I think it's a six, but I will check if I... Oh, it's definitely not Definitely that. not a three. First of all, I'm going to attempt his prayer. Is an extra beat, the 3d6 charge. Yep. And I'm going to put it on him. Oh, on the big guy himself. So it fails. Oh, at least it don't hurt him. So, now I'm going to spend the command point. And I'm going to use Mighty Destroyers. And he's going to use it on himself and on these. Yep. So he gets to issue commands twice, which is really useful. Two rampaging destroyer moves made. And is that the end of your hero phase? That is the end of my hero phase, so now we're on to my normal uh, move. Proper phase. moves now. Movement complete. The green tide advances. Nine and three quarters, That's so ten I calls it. 3d6. Yeah, that would have been a lot easier. So there in 11. So charges are possible. So I'll go with his 10 first. Oh, I'm gonna re-roll his charge. He is vital. That five damage yeah, is that's absolutely what I'm going for death. Because I'm hoping if I can roll, a, I mean, ideally I'd roll a twelve, and then I can land about there, and then I can pile in. Yeah. As long as he ends millimeters closer to this one than these, it's technically legal. And as long as I'm within weapon range. Mhm. And it's an inch, I think. So you've got plenty of wiggle room. Nope. So he's not in. Oh, it well, one less. So they're eleven. Sorry about the flickering, guys. Contrasting light, does it? I'm sure it's got to be. We're filming at night. So they failed. They're 11. They failed. Nobody got it? Nope. Not one in all of them. Uh, are these in range? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. No, they're not in range. It were touching both sides, wasn't it? So a 12 should do it. Doubt it. Watch it happen. Nope. Oh, I thought we were going to want to see it first six. So is that big war turn one? Yeah, now you're just gonna plow into me and destroy me. That's that's what we hope. We ain't got much to we ain't got a lot in way of special abilities, we've just got high damage. But again I've got none of my wars trolls. No, no wars yet. But these don't get any bonuses. DP this one. I'd say a bit wisest choice for you. Uh, my heroic action, I'm gonna use finest hour on my trog boss. If he doesn't make it now it's a waste. But I've got three CPs and not the potential to use them all. T's gonna go for a CP. Yeah, which what smartest move is now got two for the remainder of this turn. Heroic acts. No, we've done his heroic actions. Command phase. I've not really got anything to do when it's not turn two, so the bad moon hasn't come on the board. Pretty sure he hasn't got any abilities like that. <laughs> we'll get to moving. This giant has just completed his move, and the hard boys are going to redeploy. Not bad. That's their actual movements worth. That's everybody moved up. Now the Iron Jaws, I do like, he's moved them forward. He's redeployed in a forward direction to stop me gaining it to this guy as easy, he's general. Nice move, nice move. Shooting phase, I've got two lots of bricks and it's 12 inch range in it. Yep, with it within 12. I think we could all aim at him. It's nasty, but I think we're gonna, that smartest move. So, first unit, one, two, or three, successful. X successful, D3 mortals, for three. Dead. Uh, this guy's gotta be su- uh, successful. Three. If it does three, and it has, he's got one wound left after bricks. Ah, uh, one nasty. So, charges, we'll go with the big giant first. You need like a 10 now, it's gonna need some at long, innit? Nine. Yeah, call it nine. And I think they can stride over walls, but I'm. That might only be Sons of Bayamon. He can land. Definitely no, on six. he's uh, not going on a six. And he is close enough, but if I issue him the. Oh no, I'll use him. Yeah, but then you can't issue it again to somebody yeah. else if they fail. Yeah, all rest are pretty close, so I'm not overly worried. I'd take a long strike. Him, okay. No, that's not. Oh, and it's a double! Yeah, so- yeah, ignore last charge roll. We'd roll the double on the first one. So, uh, Taylor's, let me take the CP back. 
He won the roll off to decide which way the giant falls. Uh, we're saying that'll be an hit. So as he gets to fall sideways, the weapon's hitting him straight away. So D3 for that guy. Yay, I agree. Get... But he doesn't take any. And the second giant, don't fall over. Ooh! And now the boss. If he don't make it, I'll be upset. And I'm upset. That's his thing wasted. Uh, the trolls, they've got it. And I don't think this unit of trolls can deal with the brutes, but they've got to try. So he can just sneak past me and own my objective. Nope. Uh, definitely not. So they're staying there. All charges over. It's a monstrous action. LA monsters? Yeah. The behemoths, yeah. So he'll... Uh, we will... S yeah, we might as well mortal him. I could stop somebody getting orders, but he's sacrificed now, this guy. And he got it. So D3 on your guy for three. And you gave him trait, they gave him yeah. two, didn't you? So he's just got war paints of six. Well, I gave him war paint of four, didn't I? Did you? No, you said you gave him two spells with your command trait. Yeah, that is the command. In the yeah. artifact of power? No, one. your artifact of power with that. And you'd give some no, of the second one the four I, I plus. Got, the, the extra one I gave him. The extra artifact of power is easy because I took Warlord Detachment for Italian. Yeah, so he got the extra axe. Yeah, and he got his command. Are you sure you took them? I, I think you mentioned an extra it. spell. The extra spell is um, for him in general. Oh, it's... fair enough. It, four ups. So I failed two of them. <laughs> so two damage. The beginning of the combat round, and Taylor will be popping his uh, relic. Plus three damage, so yeah. plus three damage for this guy. And I will use my command ability to re-roll ones for Trogs in 18. So it's literally just that unit. I want to go with Giant first, but... It's five damage. We're going to have to go with those nah, three. I know. And he's going to put it on him. Right. No, you've got to do it at the same time, so you won't... Yeah, now you've said it, so all out defence, all out defence. Because yeah, he gets to issue I'm, a command twice. Yeah, that's one, I'm going to say it now, otherwise I'm not going to wait for him. But... Yep, so that's those sorted. Here come the trolls. So, six attacks, threes and threes, re-rolling ones. So you're only missing the ones, right? Watch this, it's yeah. gonna dominate. We're gonna do so much damage now, we don't need it. Yep. We've done so much damage now, we don't need it. So one of these has to go through. I forgot about that. Yeah, so if this guy dies, he gets to fight anyway. That's his rule. So I, were, I were hoping to get around this guy. No, one went through to kill him. One for three damage. Hey, right, so now he gets to attack. Yep. And there's no reason he won't have his three damage. Six. Nine attack, eight attacks, sorry. Threes and threes, five damage. Watch him drop this unit. No, because I do that. It's still possible. There's 20 damage there. Oh, still possible. Six up save. Come on, we need one at least. Two, thank you very much. Oh, two, but six, ten man. damage. Five up iron hard skin save. We made three. So seven damage. Bad boys attacking the giant. Fours. That's better. That's not bad to say it were fours. See, I missed four. I missed four uh, on four threes. On average. So now I'm rolling threes. I bet I missed five. <laughs> no. Can't do you like that. No, I missed two. Seven. Nice. Seven saves at five up for my poor giant. And we made one. Oh. So we'll use a CP to all our tap me giant with my remaining hero. So I'm down to two D6 what club you swings. Attacking? Ah, uh, with club, I'll roll them and decide, but we'll decide headbutt and kick first, because they're not right. So the headbutt is D3 damage. Now we'll go put club into your uh, general, kick and headbutt we'll put into your savages. But 2d6 club swings. Ow, I think he's just lived, I can't kill him. And he's got all out defense. Yep, yeah, it were threes down to twos. Yes! Oh no! It definitely wounded. I'm guessing he starts at like a five or something. He's gonna be low in he's a savage. No, six, so a six. A five. What's rend? One. Oh, so he's back up to a six. <laughs> six and then a four. Woo! And he got it. Go him. Uh kick. And this is on the savages, isn't it? On, it was a four. No, I went all on savages. Can rest. you reach them? Yeah, I'll have piled him over. Uh, go for, uh, there were fours, they're down to threes. So, hit with a headbutt. Wound with an headbutt. And I think it's one rend, I'll double check. But are they... And the kick is three rend. No, two. But 
one of them. Ah, so he's done one and uh, a six up. Oh yeah, they get okay. Yes, they do. Oh. I thought that's why he's done a wound so far, and for his mighty kick. Yes. No, it oh. it. It's a th no. Wait, it might not have started on a three. Thank you all. Out attack. Yep, and this is one round. So six up. Six I'm by pretty six. sure if it's not one, it's two. Yeah, yeah so that. straight to war. Oh, it's uh, D3. The head butt were D6 till you proper brought. One again! Until you back it to him. No, and I rolled a one again. Oh, so I've killed one Savage Oryx with a giant. That's not good. And now he gets to attack back with the Savage Oryx and the uh, Wardock. So it's eight Savage Oryx into the giant. It's fours and fours. Terrible, absolutely terrible. Sixteen attacks on four, I've got six hits. Ten misses. Three wounds on giant from sixteen attacks, because that makes sense, doesn't it? And then I've got seven guys into the rock guts. I do apologise for my camera skills, I am a bit poor at it. Got seven guys into there. One of them is the unit champion. Yeah, so seven guys into there, plus one for the unit champion. Again, it's fours. Again, absolutely shocking. Look at the state of that. I need better dice. 15 attacks, and I only get seven hits. So I've got one more and one less attack than last time. And only two wounds that way, because that's how, yeah, that's lovely. Three five ups for the giant. We make one. He's nearly dead. Five ups for the trolls. Neither. Ironhide skins. Neither. They took out the second guy. Yeah. So one attack for the war doc. Four to hit. And he's done it. Come on. And he fails. Oh. So the giant lives, but not with a lot. Battle shock. Uh, you ain't got to tech any. <laughs> and we do. As rock guts start at a five. We get plus one for the big guy, and we've lost two. So on a five or a six, oh, in fact, I'll, uh, I've got two CP left. Yeah, well, inspiring. Out of curiosity. Yeah, it would have been cool, but it'd have been a waste either way. Turn two, and it's going to be a big one. So we've tied, if he can kill this guy and get untied, I think. I'm thinking you've got it anyway, because my model count's real low. But, right, what colour dice you got? Red. Red, I'll get up a white. And we got it. I said we needed it to even survive. So turn two. Uh, I think the bad one will come on first, won't it? Then we'll do his heroics. Yeah, you always do heroic actions first. Right. So, uh, unless it states otherwise, then you think <clears> I've, I'm going to have to go for a CP because there's no else useful for me. I've used my finest hour and we didn't get it. I had a feeling. What about your heroic action? I'm going to finest hour him. Yep, he's got a better chance of surviving now. Even if I go cheeky and make my giant go first, which I'm probably going to do. I have nothing to do in me. Oh yeah, the bad moon, which I've just said. It does come on and it's in this corner. You should always, I should tell you beforehand which corner I pick, but I'm a left it, so I always go front left. In that square, it's not really doing anything at the moment. Now we'll move. All of my moves consist of the trolls moving up a little and the giant getting out on the flank. Shooting. Uh, we'll go with this guy first and it doesn't have to shoot. I'm going to make him shoot into Oryx. We've had a lot of conversations over this. See, I haven't got a statistic. It's just an ability that... Yeah, so you, 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 you wouldn't yeah. have to... Sh no. you can but I'm going to... You can pick anybody you want. Uh. As long as they're within range. Yeah, I know he's evil. Yeah, I'll pick War Chanter. It's a one for this guy, because there's only one model left. No. Second unit. We'll measure. We're going to throw at the War Chanter. And ah. he failed. No bricks. Forgot to move my trog boss like an idiot. Chargers. The giant goes first. Don't roll a double. Eight. So he's definitely in. See, now I am afraid to send in the trog boss or the trolls. I think Taylor's army is going to outlast me here handily. But we've got to try, right? That's the fun of the game. Trog boss. I don't think he's made it. Yeah, just made it on a six. And the last troll unit, it's all or nothing in this turn two for the Gloom Spike Gates. Oh, we're definitely in. And that's how it's looking for us. So we've got two monstrous actions, that's really going to help. 
think if we monstrous... Now he's got a 4 plus ward on his uh, actual general. So I think we're just going to put it all into the Iron Boys. The Iron Jaws, sorry. The Hard Boys. We'll get names right one day, people. Me, no good at English. Monstrous actions. Uh, Giant A will attempt to D3 mortal wound the Hard Boys. It has just... Four... Two. Yeah, one guy does have a shield in this unit, so he will get a six up ward against these two. Yay, so... Uh, a nice one, so the guy is still there for the second one. Uh, D3 mortals, and we fail it! Yes! Oh, not good! So, A guy took a wound. Just a minute. Right, we forgot. It looks like Taylor does get some war points for being close. So, one, two, three... Oh, those three units. Four. No, because they weren't in combat last turn. It's oh, because I've just got phase. you, got you. Right, right. yeah. Apologies, it is his first time playing the big war. So I'm on nine at minute. So it's I've got plus one to runs. No, you had eight. Didn't I had six. You had six. I've got plus one to runs, plus one to charges. All right, got you. Those are the two buffs. All right, now we'll get back into the combat phase. Uh, he'll be popping his command ability, laying the two trog units, re-roll ones, for being in range. But that's all I've got to do. And big choice of who goes first. It really is. I want to say the dying giant, but I'm just not afraid of him dying anymore. So we're going to go with the healthy giant. Uh, and he's too far to all out attack, I think. So he'll have to stay like that. And he's going to put all out defense onto the hard boys, which is a good choice because I'm probably going to swing way on them if I get a chance. He's going to be too hard to kill and he only counts as two for uh, objective holding. Oh, and these count as five, don't they? So I might have nicked yours. Look, yeah. Not right. Good chance is nicking yours, but oh well. 3d6 club swings. 11. 11. I can't grumble. 11 attacks. 3s to hit. Pr not great. Just under half missed. And then 3s to wound. Ouch. So 5 wounding hits. 5 4 ups thanks to the all out defence. One, so one, 1 damage. 6, uh, on a six up it will live. No. So he's gone. And we are that good, you would take him now, wouldn't you? Because you don't normally remove models till all damage is done, but it was specifically on him with him having a shield. It confuses me this game. I'd sometimes. probably have to kill him at the end. Yeah. I'd have to but kill him. My thinking there was is if he was still on, you keep getting six saves. No, you can't no, because he's he gone. He's yeah. got yeah, I get, yeah, yeah. Uh, four to hit for the headbutt. Yes. No, I didn't want that to hit. Three to wound. Oh, no! Yeah. We needed that. That were D6 damage. Big kick, hit, wound. That's two ren this one, so it puts him up to a five, and it's a D3 damager. Oh, nice. Well, we need to do summit because we're bouncing off these iron jaws for two. So that's a full orc. Wow. Not taking me banner guy. He's a sword and axe, so he's not the general guy. Oh, so now you get to attack back. Seven Savage Oryx into the Giant. I've all out attacked him, so it's threes now. Hey, right, come on, lads. I wanted to see him do something. I'm going to stop using this tub. There's more hits there than I really thought, but there's up four misses. Not as bad as I first figured. And then yeah, four. could have been a lot worse. That was... Yeah, six. And if you were specifically Bone Splitters here, you'd have had two Mortals in addition yeah. there. Oh, no, I think it blanks them out. We'll read it one day. How many? Six. six. Nice. Oh, he could kill him. And I cannot all out defence him. He's too far. And he's already done something. So five up saves. Failed fourth. That's just enough. Four Savage Oryx and an extra for the champion into me Trog boss. So three. Still misses. Not bad though. They could have done one exploding into the air, couldn't yeah. they? That would have been really nice. Four. For three. I've got to say, I think Bone Splitters are my favourite of the War Clans. Uh, three, it'll be a four up, winner. He is a four up. So one. one, and then shiny gubbins. Come on, eat. Don't eat it. No. He didn't pass, but he didn't eat it, did he? And four guys into the lone rock gut trogger. Threes. Always with some misses. Come on. It's got four, four wounds. For two wounds. Oh. Who shots at five plus? One for his armor. No. One for his. Uh... No. I didn't even get a chance to say it. A roll off to decide which way the giant falls. Yes, and Taylor gets it. Onto your truck, boss. Yeah, he'll just go down like that, and he can handle it in such a way that it went to anything else. Yeah. Uh, D3. Roll the D3. For two. For two. Shiny Gubbin saves. 
No, failed it, but didn't eat it. Failed, failed it, but didn't eat it. <laughs> Choice. Yeah. And I'm going to go with these trogs over here, because uh, they're pretty much safe apart from that giant. But my giants have been useless this game. So, six attacks. Rerolling ones, threes to hit. For hey, one two, miss. Two. Woo! <laughs> And three's to wound. Ah, oh, three wounding hits with two rend. Six up safe three times. Oh. So six damage. Oh, so that's a brute and half, innit? Are the three or four? Three, so it's two. Wow, I thought there were four. So the three remaining brutes are attacking. We've got four attacks for the champion, because he gets a different weapon set. So it's twos on the red dice to hit, threes on the white dice. Yep, and we'll explain the rest as they're hitting and wounded. One miss. That is a really good show. And they get plus one to hit because my trolls are four wounds. Yep. And then they're both threes to wound. And the white ones are two damage. These are the ones I'm not looking yeah, for. Both the... one rend, but the white ones are two oh, damage. Oh, so it's already reduced my armor. I knew that were coming. Still not bad. Two at two damage with one rend, five with one rend at one damage. Two wounds at two damage, and we need six as thanks to the end. I knew you get at least one. <laughs> so that's two damage so far. And then Every time. Three. Five. five. And then five regular at one damage. These will also be sixes. And we got one, so six damage total. Got to make three five ups to save me troll. And we made one. That was good. My trog boss will attack. He's going to pick up one of these boys. So a two plus is it? I'll read it when I've rolled. A two. I think that's done it, hasn't it? At four attacks, threes to hit, re-rolling ones. Oh, that was good for us. All hits, and then it'd be threes to wound. And these are all on savages, of course, so you can't reach anywhere else. Three wounding hits at two rend. So that's the save removed. 3d6 damage, and I get to re-roll these if I don't like them. Eleven. Now it doesn't I didn't read specifically if you've got to re-roll them all, so. I'll keep it, I'll keep it. Four pain saves. Quick move. Oh! Oh! Saved four. That's pretty good. So seven. So, so three and a half orc. Not too bad. So he killed four total, didn't he? The iron jaws piling in to give these guys a kick in. I've said iron jaws again. They're hard boys. So fours then threes, I believe. Yep. Ouch. Four hits. That it? Yep. They could, they could bracket him. Hmm, for four wounds. Five ups for the giant. He made two. And my last lonely troll. Two attacks, threes and threes re-rolling ones. Thank you, re-roll ones. Threes to wound. One wound in it. Two rend. Three war paints? Nothing. No, so that's two guys total. So battle shock for these guys. Five or six guys will run. No, no, perfect. Right, right, these have lost three, six. I think these are the same. So they get a banner, which is plus one, I'm pretty sure. So the Savage Oryx are losing D6. Four. Four. If for how expensive these guys are, they need something. Mind you, you know when they're uh, their own faction, they get exploding sixes and all sorts, yeah. don't they? And then over here... Those guys got the single biggest raise, I think. Savage Oryx. This is the one I'm worried about. The brutes. Yep, they're bravery six. And you got a CP left? Nope. Oh, bravery six, lost two. Oh, that just made it awful. That just cost me a game. It might have. You're starting to get ground down a bit, aren't you? Yeah, that just cost me a game. And on a six, I'll lose a troll. No. So I forgot about that. And with it being the end of the combat phase, which we skipped again, how we've read the book, he scored another three. Yep. One, two, so you've got three units yeah. in. So how many war points are you up to? I'm up to 12 now, which means I get stuff. I think you get a plus one to something. I think I've got add one to hits now. That'd be useful. He needs to do something here, because he's getting... I thought I were going to get outgrinded. That trog boss has got some serious damage capability. In three war points at the beginning of his hero phase, because of the war chanter, and he's got a wizard, and then his general will generate D6. Two. It's Again, it's always... ridiculous. Ah, he's getting low. And you haven't managed any charges yet, have you? So you entered any bonus points for that? Uh, your heroic action. And Taylor's try for a CP with his heroic action? Oh, really? Oh, and I think I've got to do the same. Yeah. I got one for once. The war chanter giving himself plus one damage. 
And then for his spell, I'm going to attempt E fights end at combat phase. E fights last. E fights last. Ah! And I've got no to stop it, wait. That's definitely gone off. I think it has. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a seven max. Boo! Yeah, that might have just gave you a real good chance. So now we're on to movement. Uh, the general's running. For yes. five, so that'll be ten. And we decided these were flat. You know, they can just go over them. The little ones. And the brute is getting out of dodge. And he's going to take his place. Yeah, that war chant has got some fighting capability in him. Yep, so that's the end of that. So charges. Uh, here come the charges. Just war chanter. Yeah, definitely. It don't matter where I place them because we are piling in. Yeah, when we've got two inch. Anyway. So. Yeah, that two inch rock club's not bad. One extra war point for completing a successful charge. And then monstrous actions. Uh, we'll D3 mortal them. You ain't got many CPs, so I'm not too worried about them receiving commands. And we failed it again. This giant's been useless. Now combat phase. I've got no that goes off at start. Uh, I've got the trog boss, so he will pop his aura. Yeah. Bringing me down to one CP. I still think I've got to go with them. <sighs> I know, it's a tough choice now. Yeah, I'm... I probably should go over here first because they're probably going to get smushed, but I'm worried about my war chanter getting smushed and he can potentially kill these because I get him plus one damage, so he's D3 plus one damage at the minute. He gets six attacks, it's threes and threes. <sighs> should no, I think I need to save my all out attack because these are both fours to hit. So, threes to hit. Only one missed, I'll take that. It's no, it's no rem though, which is a bit poor. And then threes to wound. Four wounds. So that's a potential eight damage if he doesn't save any, which he probably will do. Four, five up saves. And we made one. So that's three, three at least, and then 3d3. Notice, I'm pretty sure I rolled a two on my hit, which would have hit, but I did roll a dice off camera and it would have won, so it wouldn't have wounded. All right, so you did catch that up. Yeah. So these are all D3. Big numbers. Oh, wow. Sixes. So 9, 12, 12 damage. damage. Seven wounds left in that unit. Yeah, there is seven, so we need a lot of five pluses. We need to save six enough. I, we might have just failed. There's always one. There's <laughs> always one's alive one guy one. left with one wound. That's a running theme for Taylor's rolling. Alright, so the giant is one wound shy of being less club swing, so 3D6 club is. Oh! One off max. Threes to hit. I'll just drop one, I'll grab it. Well, like two misses or something. Three, four misses. <laughs> then threes to wound. That's better. Yeah, that was better. Uh, so, four failed. So, nine. So, yep, nine wounding hits, one rend, one damage. So, a five up. And I want to do some damage here because uh, we need to, we really do it. Not bad at all. Four damage. Damn it. So it's only four dead so far. Two dead so far. Four to hit for the headbutt. We want this. We so do. Excellent. Three to one. Come on. Come on. Yes. Now this is more end. I think it's three. And D6 damage. Ha! Oh! Three and three for the big kick. One hit. One wound. This is two rend. So you will get a save against this. Six. No. Oh, so close. D3 damage. Two. So three and a half guys. I might as well you know what's tragic there? That's best is done. A wound as well. Savages going into these guys. What it five into the trog boss. Yep. Three and, into and three into the brown rock box. So three to them four to yeah. the plus one across board. He's now. made them a lot better, hasn't it? So I'm got it stayed a hit. Two misses. That's not bad at all. Yeah, but that though, but I think there were four threes in there, so it matters. <laughs> yeah, really does. Fours. Four wounds on your trog boss. Four ups. Wow. Three guys plus one attack. Two misses. Miss. Three wounds. Could do it. Three five ups. I said three five ups. Oh, come on. Oh, he did it. it did all of them. All of them. This rock go. Freeze to hit. Both just it. Threes to wound. They could crump him. No, we can't do it. One so, two rend, three damage. I think it's a four. It's going to be quite high, I should imagine. 
a four. So up to a six. No. So three damage. Not end up world. I wanted him to die, I really did. Wait. Hard boys, I've said it right for once. Into the giant. Come on, do us, do us proud. I'm surprised they haven't got a rend being called hard boys. Snap, I thought they'd have had a rend. I rated. Right, so got all them ones in the middle. And not twos. As, not as bad as I first thought though. There's one more free in there, two yeah. more free. Oh yeah, and the down to freeze now. Yeah. Don't mind me. It's only two it mattered on. I'm it. trying to cheat. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So not kidding. Could stay to that. Five, is that it? Yeah, seven misses on threes. Christ. Four end on hard boys out, that's that's not cool. Fives. Failed them all. So he will be all out defensing these Savage Oryx because my last two guys are going now. He's got to go last. So the first troll, threes to hit. You get to re-roll ones, threes to wound. Two wounding hits, two rend. So they will still get a six save when I'm being all out defense. <laughs> See, just one would have paid off there, wouldn't it? See, they stop six damage, uh, three damage. Save one, so five dead. So you've got three so more to kill. Two and a half wounds, that. Oh, uh, two, two and a half orcs, yeah. two each. Trog boss will try and pick one up, stick him in his pocket, and he fails! Uh -huh. Wow! Threes to hit, re-rolling ones. He's gonna do it again, isn't he? He is, he's gonna do it again. This guy is dangerous. Three wounding hits. But you will get a save this time, a six. And if you stop one of these, it's worth it. Nope. It can't stop shit. <laughs> I'm re-rolling that. And the damage re-roll. I think it's his relic that lets him do that. Yeah, that's better. 13. 13 war paint saves. I need two sixes or they're all dead. Or they all die. Yeah. He's done lot. There's two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, there's eleven wounds, sorry. Yeah, so I need to save three. Come on. I kinda want him to die, but I want him to Not live. Not one. Save, but yeah, they're gone. Yep, Trog Boss has been my MVP. Come I'll come win or loss, he's definitely been my MVP. And with Taylor's remaining CP in the Battle Shock, he's going to inspire himself. And we did lose a Trog over here, didn't we? Yes. So, on a six. Ooh, one shy. So, very important roll off for turn three. If Taylor wins it, he's still in with a chance. If but you if he loses it, he's tied down. You can run him over there. You can bring him over there, and all you need to do is kill one guy there. Yeah, and then, and then all and it'll be end of turn three, and won't it? it? Yeah. So come on. No, oh, call it. Yeah. Got it. A minor victory for the uh, Gloom Spike gets, I think. No, that. it's a major victory. You've won all for it, and you'll own all for it. Uh, if we've turn. played it out, unless I kill the giant, and I could see that's possible. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the next game will be Gloom Spike gets and more Oric War Cons, I think. Yeah, we're trying to get used to the new books. Thank you for the uh, subscribers. Look, thank you to the new subscribers. Don't mind me, I'm waffling now. 89. I never thought that would happen. When we got to 40, I were over at Moon. Now I can't believe it. And thanks a lot for the nice comments. Correcting us and chipping in and telling us where we're going wrong. And It's hard because we only game with each other. I've got dodgy hips. I've got uh, Perthes disease, so I don't get around so easily. So yeah, people have got to come to me. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us and we'll catch you on the next game. Really appreciate your view.